All right, LaBuzz, let's get this message. You all have been asking for it. Ooh, the person that's crushing on you. For someone here, this person does love you. It could be someone that you love. Who has a crush on you and what do they plan on doing with it? The word inspiration. This person feels inspired to do something something with you, inspired to say something to you. Um, This is an inspired love, inspired crush. I noticed her third eye is covered. This could be someone who likes your um, your knowledge, your wisdom. They could also recognize that you have a sixth sense. Your third eye is highly activated. This person takes note of you, <clears throat> notice of you, and they take note of your life. Um, I notice on this card right here of inspiration, the stomach is highlighted. So someone can feel like you're pregnant with something. This type of crush here is not just a, oh, you're beautiful, oh, you're handsome, oh, you're attractive. There are many attributes of your life that they notice. Respect, love, and feel inspired by. Your well-being, your existence. It says enough and it does enough for them. Your passion, your power, your purpose. They are, they are, this person right here, they crush on you because you stand out and authentically are you. It's your ability not to be ashamed of who you are, of who you are. It's your spunk. It's your charisma. It's your I don't give a F attitude, they're saying. Your sassiness, your boldness. You don't allow people to push you around. You don't allow people to tear you down. Somebody here, you, you got like, um, this is not a woman. You have a response. You know what to say and when to say. This person admires you. They secretly, this, this, but some of y'all, this may not be someone who likes you romantically. Somebody's like, dang, I, I, I like the way they take up for themselves. I wish I could, though. I wish I could do that. You inspire this person. They secretly admire you and what you do for you. You're not a doormat. You don't allow people to walk over you. Your self-respect. Thank you. Your self-respect. Let's get this message. Who crushes on you and what they plan to do with this crush. All right, my loves. Let's take a look and look with the overall energy from this person and or situation. Who crushes on the collection that they need to know about this person and his overall situation. Somebody here admires your talent. You are truly admired. You're, you're highly noticed. Oh, goodness. Yep, your talent. Oh, God. Your talent, your financial um, life. Some of you all have pocket watchers. Your home, where you live, your life purpose. Now, I'm going to say this. All of this is not people that just admire you and secretly have a crush on you. People are jealous of you all, and they're watching what you have, how you got it. Um, what you are accumulating, how you have discovered your strong roots as well, how you have discovered your life, something you also tap into. They notice that you are very standoffish. Some of you all could be kind of defensive. Y'all, let me close this blind. Hold on. So some of you all have, I hear the word spectators. You have spectators that admire you. And when spectators admire you or, or being nosy in your life, they're spectating. They ain't up in that. Um, that means that you have other people that have taken notice at what you're doing. They take some, you're not, it's like your life is being noted. Like, okay, yeah, I see them doing this, done. They got that done, done. They did this too, done. Oh, okay, did that as well? Done. AEL this? Yeah. Okay, these subscribers are different. Okay, they operate differently. P 
People is like, man, they did this, they did that, they got this. How they get all of this? They got the whole world, my God. You have spectators that watch you. Somebody here speaks well of you. You need to know that. Because I hear somebody speaking very well of you. The person that speaks well of you, the people around them could be the spectators. All right. The person. The person that actually crushes on you wants to commit to you. Um, this is like a person who wants to be in a relationship with you. What they need to know from or about this person. Yep, finding peace. So this is a person that's finding themselves. They could also be looking at you, discover who you are. They could be looking at you. Oh, you found peace. You found love. You found your inner beauty. You know who you are. Some of you all, you have people that have watched you. Your life changed. Your life transformed. You could, I heard chaotic. You could have been in a chaotic place, had a chaotic life. They don't see that anymore. They see you in a very peaceful place. They also admire you because you know how to have boundaries. You don't allow people to get too close to you. They respect that. They like that. This is like a turn on to them. I'm being told to use this deck here. All right, show me the person, the person that crushes and secretly admires on the collective. The person that crushes and secretly admires on the collective. It could be a Pisces. Um, I hear that song, Foolishly in Love, I think is by Ashanti. Um, after all this time that we tried, I found out we were living a lie. For somebody here, this, some, this could be someone who lied to you, lied on you, and now they're feeling very foolish. I hear the word angry. They're feeling very angry. But at the same time, they're like, man, I need to take the initiative. I need to do something. I'm feeling activated. I'm feeling motivated. I'm feeling inspired because I see them being in a peaceful place. I see them getting better. I also hear peace of mind. You have a peace of mind. For some of you all here, you have something that a person that admires you, likes you, um, does not have a peace of mind. And this is a person that's saying, I really, what I told you, I really like AEL subscriber. I think about them a lot. I fantasize about them a lot. They do. They fantasize about you. Ooh, honey. Yeah. This person fantasizes about you being their two of cups like you are the one. Um, SWV, you're always on my mind. They think about you being their true two of cups, their nine of pentacles, and giving you the ace of pentacles. Um, all I want is you, Miguel. I think that's Miguel. All they want is you. This person would give anything just to have you in their arms, to be around you, to be in your presence. This person could have pictures of you. There could be, I heard vlogs. Somebody could, they, this could be the kind of person, you know, they, this could be a true uh, stalker for some of you all. They they take note of everything you do, your pictures, your clothes. They keep record of it when you change. This person knows everything about you. Also, this is a person that loves the fact that you are respectful with your body. You don't lay down with any and everyone. Somebody, for some of y'all here, y'all know who y'all are. It's, it's, they've never seen anybody have self-respect. It's like you can offer a person something and a person will take it, not you. It's like your love can't be brought, your attention can't be brought, your time can't be brought, your mind can't be brought, your intelligence can't be brought. I also hear mimic. Nobody can mimic you. You stand in a lane of your own. You created some sort of lane that they recognize, they acknowledge, and they like. Some of them even love it. But this is a person, the more they like you, the more they want to get close to you and spend on you they want to spend on you they want this, this is also a person um i hear that song stunting like my daddy they want to it's like somebody here wants to take you and make other people jealous with you jealous of you because they know people talk about you when this person thinks about being close to you they think about being close to you and exchanging emotions with you this person can be emotionally um guarded or emotionally closed off. This is not a person that typically gives their heart, gives their attention to people the way they're giving it to you, but you got it. Yeah. See right here? They're about to crack. Your love has a hold on them. What kind of spell do you have me under? 
They feel like they're in some sort of trance. They can't stop looking at you. They're not a pentacle. I can't stop looking at her. I can't stop looking at him. Man, look at how they're changing. They're glow. They're glowing. Luminosity. They're glowing. They're just changing. I also see like a man. Uh, you know how like uh, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I heard the word puny. And then they grow up and they evolve and they change and they tap into manhood. This is a person that has changed. There's a man that looks different than what he did from childhood. It's like people that didn't think less, that didn't think much of this man, see this man doing good and they want him. This could be you, the man that's watching this, or something like that. Yeah. All right, give me more about this person that has this crush. Mm. Now, this is a person right here that, um, this could be a cancer. This person right here, um, somebody here gets, like, really intoxicated. And not only intoxicated, but they, they, they're they to the point to where they are delusional. It's like they're in a, they're day, they daydream about you crazy. They fantasize about you. They could, you know, be a person that, you know, gets high off of marijuana or anything else. But whenever, whenever they have the substance in their body, it's like they're taken to another world. They, It's like if they play out you and them talking over the phone, having a conversation. This person has conversations in their head with you. They have conversations in their head about you. This person has you um, stored in their brain in a specific area. It's like it's like they communicate with you. This is somebody who also could deal with like escapism, so to speak. Uh, some somebody who could be slightly mentally off, disturbed, or, or something like that. It doesn't have to be major, but it, it definitely could be because somebody here is psychologically hooked on you mentally hooked on you all right they, they they talk to you a lot in their head yeah honey they're talking to you a lot in their head and it's like the response they get from you in their head it's like they play out what what they would say to you what you would say back to them and how things would go yep big time this person talk to themselves a lot about your ass all right what else do they need to know about this person that crushes on them this king of cups because he, this person is in love with you. They like you a lot. This is not just a, you know, a crush. This is somebody like, man, I want this person. I can see myself with this person. I really want to get my feet um, damp in the areas of love, but only with this person. Your peace gives them peace. Your happiness gives them gives them happiness. Your joy gives us gives them joy. Now, for somebody here, I don't want to scare you, but I do feel like you have a little stalker. This person knows a lot about your life, more than what you realize, <clears throat> more than what you would ever care to know. They know a lot about your life, a lot. Um, this is also a person, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, this person, you know, they really, really, really please themselves off of you a lot. I, I see that. When they're under the influence, they really go like, yeah, they really go in. Talking to you, this is a person that says, you know, I love you, I miss you, I want you. This person right here already has like a nickname for you. This person has a deep crush on you. I don't think this is anything new right here. This person had to have been crushing on you for quite some time because it's like this person has been praying for you, hoping for you, wishing for you. But see this King of Swords, the King of Swords can be very nonchalant in the way they communicate. But look here, this person thinks in their head is something in their psyche that has already told them you're theirs. They're the king of cups. You're the queen of cups. You're theirs. We're supposed to be married. We're supposed to have a family. We're supposed to live together. We're supposed to have life together. This person right here is, they have a whole life of you and them and they got their own head. This is a heavy, 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 heavy crush. This is a person that could be a full-grown individual with these kings here. Some of you all, you have two people that are highly interested in you. Some of you all could have someone from your childhood that you never knew like you. They have strong interests. I hear strong likes. You are their type. Um, this person right here likes you because you are the kind of person that truly shows that you care. This could be someone here that you know, to be honest with you, 
It could be a good friend, a good associate. Because you've been so caring, you are interested. You've been so interested in their life. They like you because of the simple things that you do. It's like everything they could have thought they were finding somebody else, it was right here in you. And it's like, I want you. You're mine. I've always wanted this kind of person. This person said that you and them are supposed to be married with this justice card and this ten of pentacles. Uh, I hear that song. This is no ordinary love. This is no ordinary love and this is no ordinary crush. crush. The eight of swords, they want to be tied down and stuck with you. If you are a person that can get pregnant or get someone pregnant and you're dealing with like, you know, male to female, this person would love to get pregnant from you or impregnate you. If you if you are older, this is a person that looks at you as if you are very established, very nurturing. I hear like grandmother. You're the perfect, perfect type of mother, father, grandmother. You have a lot to offer them. And this person has been having a lot of dialogue. Really, it's a monologue because they've been talking to themselves in their head. But in their head, they've been having a whole dialogue between you and them. And like, what do you want to do about getting married? What do you, you want to do about, you know, living together? This person has been asking you all types of questions. Um, I'm not going to say this person is crazy. But this person has a very unique mind. You could also have been having a lot of telepathy from someone. And it could have been like a strange energy, a strange telepathy. And you're like, who is this new person out here? You know, who is this coming through this channel? It's this person. But you have somebody else that wants to show you love. Somebody else that tries to um, connect to you psychologically. Somebody tries to connect to you emotionally. Another person tries to connect to you mentally. But both of these people see you as like wish fulfillment. You are everything a man or a woman of their stature would want, desire, and hope for. You make this, per I hear that song. And for some of you all, you make them want to leave the one they're with and start a new relationship. So somebody here is in a relationship with somebody, but you're their type. You're their counterpart. They view you as their divine counterpart. This is, this is, I was going to say this is dope. This is amazing. You have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Yeah, that's it. Air, earth, and water. No fire. That's what they don't show you. That's what, that's what they want to show you. I mean, their passion. You have this person caught up emotionally. So for some of you all, this could be someone who feels emotionally or spiritually connected to you. Others of you all, this is somebody here who wants to make like, you know, a physical movement saying, man, I just want to get next to you. I want to be around you. I want to try you. But they hold back what they physically could or should do because they're caught up in their emotions. They're caught up in their head. This person really digs you. I hear that song, um, remember on, on Martin, can you dig it, baby? Can you feel me, baby? I dig it, baby. You dig it, baby? This person wants you to dig them. <laughs> Somebody here looks for you everywhere. You're their crush. I keep hearing that song, my type. You are their type. <laughs> I wish I could share my good news with you. Um, this is a person that has lied to some of you all here and they regret lying to you. There's a specific day this person has had around you or with you and they wish they could have that day again. All right, I'm going, I'm going to do a part two and see, uh, if you and this person will ever like interact and, um, have some sort of encounter. Anything else to close this out? Yep. Denial. This is a person right here that they are afraid of your denial. If you deny them, but they long for you. The card is saying detach with love to clearly see the truth of the matter. Some of you all, you may know who this is. You may feel it um, because it's like somebody here watches you because this king of cups, he's side eyeing somebody. He's looking back like, man, I really want to get with this person. Somebody here also, when you're around this person, they have conversations like they're talking to you out of their mouth, but they're saying things in their head. Um, I don't know who Sweet Cheeks are. I, I heard Sweet Cheeks. Uh, I don't know what that is or who that is. But um, the card says longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you. Finances. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. This is a person that may wonder, you know, if they have enough to offer you. If you would look at them less or, you know, something like that. All right. 
I keep hearing that song, this is no ordinary love, no ordinary love. Sagittarius, Aries, Aquarius, Cancer, and Scorpio. Peace and blessing, great day. Part two will be on Patreon. Let's see how they um actually how it actually plays out. Namaste.